a perfect green lawn, beautiful flowers and moss-free driveways. Maybe it's all your hard work or maybe you use a helping hand. If you're using something to kill a bug or an unwanted plant in your garden, then you're using a pesticide. Doesn't really matter what it's called. Pesticides are useful tools in agriculture, in gardening, even in protecting biodiversity by controlling invasive species like Japanese knotweed. But there is a downside. This is Cork County Council's swimming pool in Mallow. It contains 80,000 litres of water. Here we're using a single drop of harmless food dye and it spreads out and disperses in the pool easily. But imagine if this was a single drop of pesticide. It would be enough to contaminate two and a half million litres of drinking water. That's an Olympic sized swimming pool, a pool 30 times the size of the pool in Mallow. So maybe consider going pesticide free. Properly managing wildflower areas is just as much a challenge as a well manicured formal garden, but adds so much more to the local biodiversity and the wildlife that local communities can enjoy. None of these images was captured in a wildlife reserve. They're all from somebody's back garden. If you do choose to use a pesticide, plan carefully. Check the weather. Don't spray if the ground or plants are wet or if rain is forecast within 24 hours or if it's going to be breezy or windy. Don't spray near water features such as streams, rivers or ponds. Don't spray near drains. Weed by hand instead. When the pesticide is completely gone, it's a great idea to recycle the bottle, but never rinse a pesticide bottle in a sink. Ideally, rinse out the bottle in the area you've been treating. Use a bottle of water, quarter fill the bottle of pesticide, shake it vigorously, spray some of the rinse water through the nozzle in the area you've treated, and then empty the rest of the bottle. Do this process three times. And to make sure your bottle stays safely in your recycling bin and not being used in the next water fight, it's a good idea to puncture the bottles carefully using the secateurs or the sharp instrument. If the nozzle has any non-plastic bits, like a metal spring, these currently can't be recycled. Put it in your bin. Finally, don't just protect the environment, protect yourself. Carefully read and follow all the instructions on the packaging of your pesticides, store them out of reach of children, and be sure to use gloves and other protective equipment. Spray safe.